That's right, Chris. The top two scorers on both teams. That's Providence's Bryce Hopkins and Georgia's Jabri Abdur Rahim looking to turn it around today. They shot a combined five of 26 last game. I spoke to Bryce's dad, Clyde, and Clyde said Bryce is a student of the game. The two watch film after just about every game. Welcome back. We are at the Baja Mar Resort, and there's so much fun to be had, including this right here. We've got the Thunderball. We'll get Papa. You ready? You're about to go down this. Yep, of course. Now, this is, you understand this is 79 feet from top to bottom. That's the equivalent of six stories, and you could go upwards to 25 miles per hour down the slide, so you're not nervous. <laughs> no, no nervous. We got this. Post slide reaction, what you got? 10 out of 10. Highly recommend it. I ain't gonna lie, it was better than I thought though. Here's the key to the party. Go celebrate. You're the only head coach at Iowa Western ever. Why this program? What makes it so special? Philip Brave Davis, this is quite the spectacle here as the crowd continues to get bigger and bigger each year. What do people need to know when they come to the Bahamas about basketball? What are some early memories of basketball with you, a former basketball player, introducing him to the game? So I chatted with head coach Jim Laranega and asked him, did you say anything specific to Nigel before this game, knowing he's facing his former team? And Jim smiled and said, nope, we always prepare for every opponent the same way. I asked Coach Laranega, what impresses you the most about Nigel's game? And Jim said everything. I told him before the season, he reminds me of Shane Larkin, former Miami guard, a top 20 pick in the 2013 NBA draft. Nigel does everything you want a point guard to do. On ball defense, handle the ball, the list goes on and on. Sam Hyman down on the sidelines. This Hutchinson football team, while this game has not gone the way they had planned, they are playing for more than football. Colby Gable, a Hutchinson native and lifelong fan, passed away November 30th of this year battling Burkett lymphoma. And the team wore Team Colby decals on their helmets for the semifinal and also tonight in the championship. I spoke to Coach Dallas and Malik Benson about Colby, and Coach Dallas said he always has a smile on his face, a true fighter. Arthur Kaluma on an absolute mission right now, guys, and I caught up with his head coach when he was at Dream City Christian, a school in Glendale, Arizona, and I asked Kyle Weaver, What's the first thing that comes to mind when you think of Arthur? And he said, hard worker. Arthur came back to Glendale, Arizona this past summer to work out with Coach Weaver, and they focused on shooting form and ball handling. That shooting is lights out today, five of seven from the floor. We are set to go here inside the cozy confines of the Baja Mar Convention Center. Hello and welcome courtside alongside Beth Duncanberger. My name is Sam Hyman. We have two undefeated teams to close out the night as part of the Pink Flamingo Championship. It's Penn State at 5-0 and and the eighth-ranked USC Trojans. Beth, when you look at this matchup, you've got USC, one of the best defensive teams in the country. Penn State, one of the best offensive teams in the country. Albert Tay Rindall misses Big Jay. The rebound and the stick back. Big Jay in a big moment delivers. One of, if not the fastest players on this team. We had a chance to catch up with Bill Tierney, the head coach at Denver, before this game. And it's a Tierney tradition. He's been doing it dating back to his Princeton days called the Monday Mile. Every Monday during this season, the team runs a timed mile. And Ted Sullivan runs his mile consistently each week in less than five minutes. <laughs> and now up top to Andrew Calabria. On the doorstep, there it is. Dominic Scorcia. Mercy Magic, the Mavericks are going to the national championship game for the first time ever. Last 25, and what an underwater Water, from wow. Akron. Wow, Abby Daniel, gold medal in the 50 free, and she puts Akron on top in the 200 freestyle relay. 21-99, that final 50 split. Akron one, Ohio two, and Miami three. And now Cat Manley covered up by LaBoy. We play on. Hovey, wow, a smash right down Court Street. Hovey, a feathery touch this time. That's the curveball. She went with the fastball earlier in the rally and throws the hook. Watkins already stuffing the stat sheet, attacks the right alley and draws a foul. Five points, three rebounds, two assists. 
for the number one overall recruit in the class of 2023. Did Dudley bring up her acting career? I believe I saw her in a Nissan car commercial earlier this year. <laughs> I I didn't ask Coach Gottlieb about that. I, I asked Coach Gottlieb about Juju Watkins, though. I said, D does Juju remind you of anybody you've coached? And Lindsay said, not anybody that I've coached, but I've got to be honest. She has some Kobe, some Maya Moore, some Diana Taurasi in her. Just glimpses of those players, and that's high praise. And the other thing that I found quite interesting, Coach Gottlieb said, Juju trains and works out like a pro. What would you cook me if I came to your house in Turkey? First of all, I can't cook. <laughs> People might be wondering where everybody else is. We're in different vans, and this is the vlog van, Lily. This is the best van. It's okay to have bad days. It's okay to not feel like you're good enough. And I'm more hungry. Why are you more hungry this year? What's the key to being so fast? Um, I don't know. I would say like just getting myself hyped behind the blocks. Where does your motivation come from? My son. Uh, each, each and every day. What's the best piece of advice your dad's given you about the game of basketball? If it's not on Strava, folks. Yeah, it doesn't count. It doesn't, yeah, it does not count. It does not count. He was a super young guy. He had deep waves. He had some J's on his feet. The new school record holder in the pole vault, Emily Bauman. Let's let's go ahead and take a bow. Take a bow, shall we? <laughs> some type of meek meal, like dreams and nightmares or something like that. I used to like pray that. for times like yeah, this. Yeah, to rhyme like this, yeah. <laughs>